and here we go again. This morning I'd like to take a look at uh, selling online rather than buying online. We've all been to Amazon, we've all been to the various places where we buy stuff online. But selling online can be uh, quite a minefield in its own right. Um, eBay is probably the most popular one which we uh, can look at. Um, eBay's good. Uh, plenty of uh, people go there and have a look with over 18 million buyers it says here on the screen. Um, however, um, it's not the cheapest. If you say for exa example that we want to sell a object which is worth a hundred pound chances are with eBay you're only going to see about 89 to 90 pounds worth of money from that object. Um, I think that they're very greedy they have um, fees to list it they have uh, end or uh, fees when you've sold something final value fees um, they have fees if you want to put an extra picture in they have fees if you want to do something big and bold etc and so forth and and without going to sound like I'm really down on eBay I, I don't think it's a fair way that they're uh, they're organizing themselves there um, where the profits go to from this company God only knows um, but it's certainly uh, not into the pockets. The one one thing I do find very annoying about eBay while we're on the subject is that uh, their customers, eBay's customers, are the ones that sell on eBay. Um, and if you have a, any problem at all with one of your customers, eBay take their side. So they're not even supportive. Um, their customer is you. And your customers seem to take priority over you. So I, for that reason and that reason alone, I try to avoid using eBay whenever possible. Okay, so that's me down on eBay. Um, another choice that we have is a company called e eBid. <coughs> Excuse me, not, probably not quite as uh, well known as eBay. Um, however, they have got um, over 375 million pounds worth of uh, stock that they advertise on a regular, ba well, sort of semi-regular basis. If, like on eBay, we say we're going to put this 100 pound object on there, um, there's a good chance you'll see 96 or 97 pounds out of that 100 pound. <coughs> uh, one of the um, the nice things about eBid is they they are a lot cheaper than eBay. Um, it's a shame they can't uh, carry some more popularity somehow, um, become more fam um, famous if you like. Um, they have great way of selling stuff, um, very similar to that of eBay. Um, one of the uh, nice things you can become a seller plus a lifetime seller plus, which will cost you fifty pound initially, but you never pay another penny. Um, other than enhancements, I'll be careful there. Um, don't cost you anything to list on a regular basis. If you're listing, it costs you nothing. If you want to do enhancements like bold characters or special features, have extra photographs, there may be a slight fee incurred on that. So you need, really need to tread a bit careful. However, eBid, as I say, it's a shame they couldn't grow more in popularity. Um, they have millions of items on their uh, website and it run, it's run in a very similar way to eBay but it's an alternative. Okay so there's the uh, two that we, we've done. Um, if you ask me for a preference between eBid, eBid and eBay I think I'd go for the eBid um, and there we are. However one that I haven't got a photograph of so I'm going to pop onto the internet and see if I can find this place that very few people seem to have heard of and it is a place called Gumtree. Now Gumtree, um, I used this just recently um, to sell a table and four chairs and I got what I, exactly what I was asking. The uh, couple who bought the table and chairs came to the house, they paid me cash and took it away with them when they went. I didn't have to have postage fees, there was no fees involved as far as Gumtree was uh, concerned. However, if I wanted to add a special feature, like have it a um, bit of a flash uh, advert going, I can pay a little bit extra for that. If I wanted to have top ranking, you know, top of the page every time, then um, pay a little bit extra for that. However, the basic advert was totally free and it was very good. The table and four chairs went after four days. The nice thing about Gumtree 
is for heavier objects like that. I mean, uh, if somebody had said um, in Glasgow that they wanted my table and four chairs, the last thing I want to do is end up with putting a stamp on the side of the chair and posting it to them because that is just not, never going to happen. Um, so it's more of a local community thing. I can uh, search for Sutton on Sea there, as you say, or within 10 miles of Sutton on Sea, I can vary that. In Sutton on Sea itself, I can go to a quarter of a mile, half a mile, a mile, three miles, five, uh, however many miles away you want. Um, you can do nationwide as well if you want to. Uh, if you do want to um, sell something and you don't mind posting it to somebody, then I would always make sure you get the uh, the cash or the cheque or whatever it is in the bank first before you uh, depart with your goods. Anyway, let's have a look. Let's have a look at uh, Gumtree. Let's uh, create an account first. First name is using the non de plume of Abigail. Um, Abigail plug it. Her email address in this occasion will be abigum at plug it. Oh dear, I can't even spell it. Plug it dot org dot uk. And for all the spammers out there who are writing this down hurriedly, forget it. Um, it's going to get deleted as soon as this uh, as soon as this uh, advert is finished. Um, so we'll, we'll just remember that. So it's Abby um, Abby Gum at whoops at plugit dot org dot uk. Um, right, password. Don't know if that was good. I'll do it again, and we'll confirm it. It's a good, strong password. There we go. Telephone number. There we go. That's all blurred so that um, the lunatics out there can't um, hack into my telephone or whatever. So, there we go. Email account activation. Right, so now I need to go to uh, my place where I uh, good old iPower wins again. There we go. We'll go to Mail Central. Again, sorry if I have to blur the pages out a little bit. It's uh, we do try to keep it as anonymous as we can. There we go. There's welcome to Gum uh, Gumtree. We can activate the account. Um, so Abby Gum at plug it. That's it. You can start using the account. Okay, so we'll close that and we'll close that and we'll close the login at Gumtree and log in. Put the password in again. There we go. Right, they do have a cookie policy, but uh, there's nothing horrible there, nothing nasty, nothing to be worried about. So, um, we'll post an advert, I suppose, is the next thing to do. Um, it'll be goods for sale, and we'll put it in the... Uh, Right, I didn't mention that. Well, of course I should do, because I'm getting a bit um, um, yeah, ahead of myself here. Right, there's several areas that we can put um, the object in. I'm very fortunate that uh, one of the club members came to me and he said, Here, Howard, can you get rid of this on somehow? Can you sell it or whatever? To which I replied, Oh, certainly, no problem. So... Uh, that's what we're going to do. And the, the object we have is, in actual fact, a uh, DVR player. Uh, there we go. That's the uh, thing. That's what we have to sell. Absolutely fantastic bit of kit. Totally, uh, totally free as far as the club's concerned. It has been tried. It has been tested. Um, as the pictures will no doubt show. Um, in this one in particular, where I have a little uh, ornament 
sitting in front of the camera and you can see how good the reproduction is looks like the real thing there we go smashing little picture and that's through the lens uh, black and white imagery on the far side of the lens and the mechanism makes a whole camera work where they put the film in the kit the cables the uh, remote control uh, a brand new tape in there not been used a handbook and software everything you need there it is nice bit of kit and you can see that it's all working wonderfully and a timer and a bag there we go that's what we have to offer on Gumtree so how do we go about doing that okay so we'll click on TV DVD blu-ray and videos um, blu-ray players and recorders DVD players and recorders other TV and DVD and video so we'll click on that one because that's probably closer to the mark so we can continue from that we'll enter the postcode which will be L N 12 to EY right add a title right the title we have to add is um, basically what we're selling which is a DVD sorry DVR oh and I can't remember the uh, the details there we are it's a DCR it is TRV 140E TVR 140E uh, camcorder with cables and handbook very important you mention these things so there we go um, you can make that up to uh, quite a long sentence really but I think as long as we uh, DCR TVR 140E Sony I might as well mention it's a Sony because people do have preferences so it's a Sony let's make sure I've got it right DCR TRV 140E right dyx dyslexic so there we are that's the um, that's what we have to sell um, we can add some images right there we go so add an image it's in this folder here we can add all those um, and the, another thing as well if you wanted to uh, really demonstrate something um, that you have you can put a YouTube video on and link it on Gumtree so that um, people get exact they can see the actual product right while those are loading I want to just have a look at the key features here which I've um, highlighted from um, the website the Sony website so I'll copy those and in Gumtree's description here I'll put them all in there so they're um, quite a big but I still have 1000 characters remaining 12 words is the minimum um, there's a complete write-up which Sony present on their website uh, all about this product how much do we want for it this is where you tread on careful because once you set a price you can't vary it I had a look on uh, Amazon for this uh, product whoops if I just highlight that we'll just um, copy that um, we can have a new uh, www.amazon.co.uk <coughs> because we want to sell it in the UK and we can have a quick search and see what comes up <coughs> lots and bits and pieces for it but there's our model 184.99 um, well I know that um, the person who gave it me they weren't um, not greedy for money or anything like that but the, you know make as much as we can so really and truthfully let's make it a special offer let's put it on at um, 
a smash in price here. Let's make it £75. Right, £75 or very near offer. <coughs> um, we've got no website links, we can make it stand out. This is where you can start to add a few uh, extra shillings to your um, how much you spend on selling things. Uh, if you want to get rid of it urgently, there's £3.95, which will put it at the top of the page for seven days. Um, have your ad appear at the top of category listings for 3, 7 or 14 days. Um, quick example there is like this where it's actually um, highlighted at the top of every column. Um, nice little touch. And Spotlight. Let's have a look at... Um, there we are. Look, Spotlight on your product on the home page on Gumtree. Um, that's 7 days for 20 quid almost. 19.95. So there's your little bit of variation that you can add. Um, the email address is, is abigum at plugit.org.uk. We have the phone number there um, which people can ring. Obviously you can't see that on this advert. Um, but there we go. So this is the advert as it is. All those pictures um, up to nine images. There's the main one and all the subsidiary ones. And that's about all it is on Gumtree. That's about all we have to do. We can now post the advert. Uh, I might be missing something. Right. I'm sure I put that in there because I put £75 in there. That's it then. So maybe it didn't like the OVNO that I put at the end. Okay, so there we are, we've posted an advert for a Sony DCR TV, sorry, yeah, DCR TRV140E camcorder with cables and handbook. Uh, we have a reference number for it, so just caution you that it can take a couple of hours to appear on the listings. Um, however, let's have a look at the advert. This is the way it will appear. Uh, there we go. Nice big pictures as well. Um, and all the information you need about it. And the price, of course, £75. So there's the um, email address and the phone numbers, etc. All appear on, on the Gumtree advert. And that's all there is to Gumtree. That, that's a live advert. That's up there now. Um, whether I leave it or not, I don't know. I might leave it for 24 hours. Um, then, of course, I'll have to see about getting in touch with Gumtree to delete this account. That's about all there is for this particular episode of uh, Selling on the Internet. Um, hope you've enjoyed it. My mistakes and blunders are all thrown in free of charge. And um, I hope you give it a try anyway. It is simple. Have the photographs taken beforehand, as, as I did. I had um, nine of them all ready to go. Um, it does show them quite nicely. I didn't know whether to uh, just make a mention in the advert that the um, the little sunflower is not part of the sale. However, if somebody took me to court and wanted it, then uh, I don't know. No, nobody's that stupid, are they? Hmm. No answer to that one. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, video. I hope that uh, if you have enjoyed it, then you'll give me the thumbs up and like it and all the rest of it. Um, if you haven't quite enjoyed it as much as you should do, then give me the thumbs up for now and uh, send me an email and we'll try to sort out why you didn't like it. Please remember to subscribe if you can to uh, Howard L. Hall on YouTube and you'll be notified then when I put these uh, videos up. They're usually once a month but um, maybe next month we'll see how well our sale of the camcorder um, actually went. So thank you very much and uh, look forward to doing more in the future.